somewhere? Where have you been, nephew? You've been right here at Dope Bear. What is Welcome Back? Man, Welcome, welcome Back, back to <laughs> Dope Bear, man. Fab and Unk Show, man. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. You agree, nigga, the Fab and Unk Show. Yeah, yeah. tuned in now. Yeah, Fab in. and Unk. Yeah, we would have been back if it wasn't for my nephew. Yeah, not Unk and Fab. Fab and Unk. What? Yeah, nephew. I'm first. How? How? Because you first on TV, I'm first on the podcast. Ain't we got help. It gotta be some equal rights around this motherfucker, it, man. The rights is equal. It's equal. Hey, I see. Hi. Uh, and Fab Show. Yeah. You're tuned in to Icy. The Fab Unk Podcast. The what? For our special guest, Icy. Get out of here, Icy. You gotta go. Don't, don't hey, hi, me. people. I'm out of here. I'm out. This is Icy, everybody. Get up, All right, get up, buddy. You still in the show, man. Do not. Oh. Hey man, what's up, man? New Year's resolution. I just want to know right now. What's your New Year's resolution? I, the only thing I'm is just to be a better person than I was last year. Sometimes people get to putting all that shit on themselves, and then when they don't own up to the things that they put there, they think they're a failure. So I'm gonna take one key thing. If I just be a better version of me this year than I was last year, then all the things that I want to achieve is possible. Right. But if I put all the other shit on, oh, I'm going to lose 15 pounds by January. I'm going to do this by this. Then you start failing. You just give up on the rest of the stuff that you think you can't do because you didn't succeed at the things that you first set out to do. So I just want to be a better person this year than I was last year. Um, the new year is January. How are you going to lose 15 pounds by January? By, Jan- by the end of January. Some people think they can... Crash course and diets and take those supplements and right. burn it all off. I'm saying by the end of January, I'm going to have been in loss. And by February, they've been in gain five pounds, but then they gave up on a whole year. You, you going to go get a BBL for men? No, I'm going to go get a addictomy. Addictomy? Yeah. You don't, you don't get your position, nephew. You're you the one, nephew, that always tell the world that you have a, a minus penis. So <laughs> I got my dick from my mama's side. Okay, that's cool. I'm glad I ain't on that side. But <laughs> you might want to go get a, a dick to me. Some ass and dick to me? Yeah, yeah. You can. You got enough fat tissue around you to take it and go. You, know, you, know, you know what I'm saying? How you? But Fuck that, you, huh? <laughs> Fuck you. Did you tell a girl that that told you your dick was little? <laughs> Ain't no bitch ever told me to my face, my dick. So, so, oh, to they your face. So what did they say? They, they only wait till they get mad. And then they, then they say, yeah. And then they sub me on the ground. <laughs> okay. Was, Little what? dick niggas always talk the most shit. I bet you can't unsuck it, though. Yeah. You can't unsuck it, though. You can't unsuck I bet you that. You can't unsuck <laughs> the dick. Yeah, you're right you, I, you can't unsuck it, though. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. This little Tic Tac was in that. Hey, 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 boo-boo. Nephew, so that's your New Year's resolution? No, I'm not going to get my dick done. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I don't want no ass to dick to me. Okay. My New Year's resolution is, um, I think I've struggled with hustling so much. And what I mean by that, like, I, everything I've treated always like a hustle. Mm-hmm. Everything was a hustle to me. Everything is a hustle to you. Like, everything is a hustle. So I've treated business, business and everything like a hustler instead of, a businessman. instead of like a businessman. So what I'm working on in 2023 and I've started towards the end of this but I've started is transitioning from just hustler to businessman so 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 one of the key things with being a businessman is understanding the fact that you must delegate some issues most definitely because when you when you're a hustler you think that the hustle is just me that's my hustle I don't need to involve everybody in my hustle. When it's business, you can't do it all on your own. You have to be like, hey, I'm going to hold you responsible. This is what I need you to do. Right. If it fails, it's on you. It's on us, but it's on you. When you fail to do that, you just take everything on yourself. Then you get overloaded. Yeah, and that shit been stressing me out. Yeah. I ain't going to lie. Raiders, Niners, big game, New Year's Eve. January 1st, big game. Football fan, who you going with? I'm on town, so I got to go with the Raiders. But right. I just... You want my honest opinion? I need your honest. I, I just don't. They both playing with backup quarterbacks. They just benched uh, Carr. They should have kicked him off the team. Uh. But the backup quarterback from the Niners been playing like a starter. Oh, yeah, that, nigga's, that, that nigga ain't no backup. Shit. You, been, you feel me? I bet they going to be like Trey Lance. They going to be like, who? They, they keeping him. I, I think I think Guap can get dropped now. They might. Yeah. They, they might drop Guap. Yeah. I mean, I mean, you can't say that, but they for they, Brock. Yeah. They've been on a great eight year. I mean, eight eight, eight game run. 
Yeah, they have. They playing good. At this point, you understand me? And they got the momentum. You think they could get back to the what's name? To the Super Bowl? Yeah. I think it's a hard road to get to that bowl next year. Yeah. Yeah, but I think they got the possibility to get in there because they got the they got the right chemistry going right now. I mean, like you said, I'm an Oakland, so you know, of course, you want to go represent your town, represent your side. Um, but I'm not one of them. Oh, nigga, I'm in one. I rock with the city. I, you know, I rock with the city, too. So, who made, it, made the best team win. It's going to uh, be a lot of shit talking. But it's going to be a lot of shit going on, especially in Vegas. If y'all going to Vegas uh, this weekend, make sure y'all be safe. You feel me? Enjoy yourselves. You know, win big, get some money. You know what I'm talking about? And uh, if you get fucked in Vegas, it don't count. Who said? No, this is Vegas. So, you said it, 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 it counted my dick. I don't know what it might count to. <laughs> now, you might can't tell on it. Now I go for that, but it's gonna count. So when I come back and she say something, I say, yeah, that's why I fucked you in Vegas. She can say that. No, you count. can't say I fucked you in Vegas. You gotta stay in Vegas. Okay, then that's You be now, kissing okay. and telling? Oh, no, I'm just asking a question. You said it don't it, it don't count. I might right. need to count. It might not be discussed, <laughs> but it needs to be counted. Hey man, rap politics. We you you did a a a, a um a PHA, what you call them? Public hunk announcement. Yeah, the the PHS. And PHA, the, man, what you PH what? P- yeah, P-H-A, P-H-A, yeah. public hunk announcement. And the public hunk announcement was, it was it was big to me because you said something that was super true. You was talking about in Northern California, the rap politics are making it hard for promoters like yourself, yeah. influencers, and just for us to get a great energy. This is how I feel about right now, people. And then, well, this, this, this is my a slogan that I use, right? right. Just because we rap together doesn't mean we rock together. Mm. That means that we both just believe in each other's talents and both believe that if we come together for a song, that we can help shine some light on each other. And by shining a light on each other, we make the area that we come from, the light come on. The youngsters now, when you, you know, I like to do the rap shows. I like to try to give them opportunity to learn their craft, practice their craft, you know, get some new fans and just get in the group of what rapping really is. I want to tell you before, before I cut you off, keep your thought. Nigga, your party was lit. It was the rules and happy. Unk, you had everybody. That thing, nigga, that, uh, if y'all missed the Unk party, we're going to have some clips and show y'all some of the clips from Unk party. Oh my God, nigga, that nigga party was turned up. But even with that, I like to bring out the youngsters, you know what I'm saying? And this, this the politics from dealing with the youngsters. Now, I be having to figure out their politics before I can even figure out their music. Hmm. Because I be wanting to put them on that I feel responsible if I don't know what's going on. I grab one from over here, grab one from over here, and have them in the building together. So I'm saying, so my thing is I'm telling everybody off top. If you come, if it ain't got something to do with it, I fuck with everything. I don't give a fuck where you from, what you represent. If I fuck with you, I fuck with that. To the point that is, just like I respect what you got going on, I'm going to respect what he got going on. And when we come together, I'm going to ask you two to respect what I got going on. That's why you be turf hopping, though. Like, one day you're a crip, one day you're a blood. That's because I fuck with everybody. You, you don't have to be uh, blood in, blood out. But I want everybody to know that I associate with what they rock with. That's what I be trying to explain. You're a crip, I fuck with you. Because you, you're a blood, I fuck with you. You high top. Yeah. Low top, no top, whatever you want to <laughs> nah, we Nah, what we say is, man, like, what we represent with the air is, man, but we fuck with everybody, bro. Like, people be hitting me like, fam, man, you be fucking with the suckers. Man, I'm, we all the sucker to somebody, somebody, man. Somebody, I'm the sucker, I'm the sucker. But listen, what he's saying is, that was a good-ass slogan, too. Just because we rap together don't mean we rock together. Yeah, yeah, we can just make, we respect each other, music talent, musical talents. Right. So we believe if we make a song together, that we can highlight each other and highlight our area. And maybe make a hit that pass. Because some of these dudes, I feel like if they get on something together, like he raw and he got bars. If I could put them two on one song, could the South do it? All the time. I feel like I feel like this. And I always go back to this because this was a great moment in my life. The hypey moment. The hypey moment, That was nigga. my key thing. We was all together. Like, everybody, nigga, if I do a show. Everybody came. That was rapping. If I do a show, nigga, I'm bringing everybody on stage. That's rapping. You see, you see a fab show. You see Clyde Carson, the team. You see the Federation. You see uh, 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 the pack. You see the hood stars. You see Turf Talk. You see Johnny Cash. You see Bathgate. Nigga, we all rocking. 
If they get if a promoter gave me an hour, nigga, they they probably, probably only gonna get they probably gonna get 15, 20 minutes out of me. Yeah, but I'm gonna give everybody an opportunity to get on that stage and rock. And Nowadays it ain't like that because of the politics. Because of the politics is a little bit deeper than they was then. Yeah, for sure, for sure, you know for sure. I mean? But that doesn't mean that in my choice to be a rapper, I have to also understand that I'm choosing to be uh, social. Social. And I'm and and I and, and I have to work with people that first of all, these cats are getting they're getting into it with each other about something that they don't got nothing to do with them personally. Mm. So some say good shit or some so, right. so say I'm a rapper, but I'm from over here, but I'm a rapper and from over here. I really don't be all the way in the politics, but my niggas in the politics. So my association leads me to be Held to the same things that they're being held to. Man, I've been I've been dealing with it my whole career. Then it's somebody else in the same category. We might want to be cool, but what stops us from being able to be cool our hoods is, is our hoods is at each other. Right. You know what I'm saying? Me. So if I do something, my niggas gonna be like I'm being disrespectful. You fuck with the and suckers. his niggas gonna be he being disrespectful instead of them saying, "Know what? I'm gonna let you niggas be on y'all rap shit. Get on y'all rap shit. We gonna support y'all. We gonna nigga. support let's, y'all. Let's all we don't got. We if 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 it. it, it and maybe from y'all rap situation, we can squash some we can shit squash shit. some politics shit because now we got some other than that issue to communicate about, to be organized about. Hey, think about it, man. Don't wait for ten years later to some of the homies then die for a nigga to be like, bro, we was tripping over nothing, blood. Like, Let's do a song together. nigga, start, nigga, break that shit. Break you, uh, somebody that did that. Uh, 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 uh I watched. Uh, a uh, uh, bug and blaster do a song together, and I sat back. I was like, "Damn!" But do you understand? If you want to go, that was deep, big, nigga. For Crips and Bloods been killing each other forever. Right. You can get a YG and Snoop song. Hmm. What make us on the level that we're on? Not at, at our impact on the level that they on is just as impactful as the level as Snoop and YG coming together. Blood, the game and Snoop. It's the same thing. It's two. Organizations that have been killing each other forever I wanna, coming together. I want to talk to y'all about that, man. As rappers, man, let's let the rappers network. I'm a rapper. I fuck with rappers. Let's network politics free, man. And it opened up the bag, y'all. Nigga, if you hot and he hot and y'all put together, y'all lava. Lava. And that bring more money to both hoods. You get what I'm saying? And it bring it bring more spotlight on the Bay Area. For sure. You know what I mean? Because everybody coming together, man. We're deeming each other like with each other's problems. We're Boom. Doing. Warriors, man. Talking about the Warriors, man. How you feel about them? You said something the other day, and I had to hit you with a nigga, what? What, what did I say? You said the Warriors might not make the playoffs. I said if they continue. Nigga, listen, you said the Warriors might, might not, not make, make the, the playoffs. playoffs. Know why I said that, nephew? I did say that. Okay. Because we have a problem with winning on the road. And until we find a way to take wins on the road, it's going to be hard for us to make it to the playoffs because the West got some ballers right now. Yeah, but we don't. We, at the end of the day, remember, it's 10 slots. Oh, so, 10, huh? Yeah, we yeah make, so we worst can, case scenario, yeah, we just to play in. we'll do a play-in. Yeah, play like, you know what I'm saying? That's the worst case scenario. I'm not going for that. But I've been, we have the best record at home. And, you know, which offsets, like, we got the worst record on the road, the best record at home. But I honestly think that the adjustments will be made. Steph come back, so this, Wiggins come back, and we get back into the, to the thick of thing, and we, we go into the third, fourth slot. I believe now that Steph has gotten hurt, right, it has gave everybody else confidence. Confidence. So when Steph come back, they're going to have a confidence that they didn't have when he was there. Because they, was, they wasn't able to have it. You know, like, when somebody just started a team, you like, everything go through them. Everybody. So now when you can get the momentum of your own self, now when you get the ball, you can be like, before you're going to be like, oh, I got to pass the step. Now, now like, you I can be like, I make that shot. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Me and Stop, man, I want to shout out to our sponsors. We got that Earl Stevens. Yeah, I'm talking about uh, cotton candy, Earl Stevens, sparkling. We got those dope air vape pens, you feel me? Boop, boop. Brand new, whole, get the whole box, nine different carts. You got the Unk Skunk in here. Cream don't, check. Don't, it, it, it's, it's the right one right here, nephew. That's the cream check. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, it's a, you, have, you ever seen that before, nephew? What? A girl put a cigarette down there and make her hit the cigarette. 
You seen that? Yeah. This not edited. You don't have to say make her. Oh, I, I every nephew. I, ours, we have very sensitive Instagrams, so I'd be kind of scared about the things <laughs> I can say. Dope pair of leaves, man. Make sure y'all check in, tap in. Got the leaves since a lot of y'all right now can't get the flavor uh, and, backwards. And let me give y'all a hint, right? Let me give y'all a hint. If y'all wonder why all y'all girls like the hunkster, it's because I be smelling like arrogance. Ooh, dope pair of cologne. Make sure y'all tap it out. You seen the commercial? Nephew, nephew, I can knock her. I can knock her. <laughs> you can't knock her. I put this on, boy. You should have stopped running the trash. Oh, you Ooh, smell good. good. That's how you got to get some of this arrogance if you wanted to tell you, oh, you smell good. Oh, you smell good. And, you know, of course, we got the dope air. You feel me? You feel me? You understand me? Yeah, that's, those are 33%. These, and these are all on the legal side of things. So, you know, definitely shout out to the sponsors and everybody that's behind us that's pushing that. Um, we are the sponsors. <laughs> uh, We're pushing that. Fab week, you already know, man. Big, big fab week, birthday week. Nephew, Turn it up. Nephew, what? I keep telling you, and we're going to have this problem until this motherfucking weekend is over with. Just because it's your birthday doesn't make it your week. This is the unk and fab week, brother. Uh, I didn't do that to you on your birthday. Yeah, unk. you did. No, man. I didn't. Yeah, what I do? Did. Man, you got up there. You grabbed the mic. And what I say? That made you a part of the party, right? No, because you told me to get up there and, and be a part of it. You say, now fight these motherfuckers. So, so, you're, so since you haven't told me to be a part of your party, no, you that already, means you're pushing me out, right? No, you're, I'm not pushing you out. You but said. you already made the flyer for yourself. I'm going to continue to make a flyer. Every time you put a motherfucking flyer and ain't on there, you can best believe as soon as I see it, within five minutes, I'm going to have one with me on it. I posted a flyer for my birthday week. This nigga posted another flyer with him added in the picture. <laughs> this thing that photoshopped itself into make, the Fab Week. You, you think it's all about you, man? No, man, it's about us, man. Fab Week, man. Fab Week. For I'm all brothers. Listen, F-A-B. For all brothers. Listen to me, nephew. I know. Yeah, for the brothers. I know for the last umpteen years, you've had a weekly scheduled birthday week. Yes, sir. Right? It's a new day. It's 2023. For now on, when you have those lovely weeks, it's going to be the unk. Um, and fat week. You know what we're going to do? We're going to make it from December 2nd all the way to January 23rd. <laughs> uh, the Party. whole month we going we're crazy? Gonna, the whole month. <laughs> we're going to stop. We're, we're going to let Christmas have its day. We're going to let New Year's have its day. We're going to turn up. Hey, man, make sure y'all tap in Fab Week. Tickets will be available, man, July, uh, January 2nd. You still have them on Eventbrite? Uh, we have a new company. We'll shout out our sponsor pretty soon, man. We have a company, a new oh, housing so company. Some other going yeah, on. that's gonna be going on that, man. We will be launching that to all of the sponsors, to anybody that wanna get involved. Uh y'all wanna be a part of the, the Unk and Fab podcast. Uh the launching of the Unk and Fab show. show. We're debuting our show, uh, our TV show, the week of Fab Week, and it's gonna be dope. So to everybody that wanna get involved, sponsors, y'all I mean y'all know what to tap in at Dope Bear members. This is a sidebar, right? If you want me to wear, see, right now these, I'm head sponsor for these guys. Where I got them on, my partners. Right. If you want your merchandise worn and something that got to do with the Unk and Fab, anything, hit me in the DM. Let's talk numbers. Hit me. I'm your manager. Nephew, I'm your manager. All right. So that's what I'm saying. Yeah, so hit, you know hit why me. I like you hit being your manager what? and you being my manager? Because right now, your stock is a little bit worth more than mine. Yeah, but right? when yours go up, you yeah, gonna I'm going to be all managers. I'm hitting you. Book up right now. They're going to be talking. Yeah, we're trying to book up, and I'm going to have, yeah, so, uh, you know so where we at? I'm going to get my articulate Harvard voice. That's why, that's <laughs> why I don't, when they book me for party buses and shit, yeah. that's why I don't let them call. Yeah, because you're still in my cut, man. Because the cut is small, man. I'm it don't matter, man. We in it together, man. Yeah, okay, I'm going to let you see. You see the footage? I couldn't show you my finger. I don't want to see your footage of you <laughs> stripping for them women that you had on the party bus. Them old ass women in books. You know, disrespect to you ladies because you still was beautiful. I seen when y'all came in here. But you got them women up in there spending money on you, throwing money on you, man, when That's you got it. your little thing swinging. That's do, do, do we we swing. Twerk, twerk, do we we. <laughs> twerk, twerk, do we. <laughs> see, nephew, I'm going to give everybody. <laughs> I'm going to give y'all. I'm going to give y'all the. First understanding of the unk dance, right? So the unk dance go like this, right? But what it really does is when you do that and you kind of got something, it slap your thigh like boom, boom. Man, watch out, man. <laughs> That's what the dance is about. <laughs> so only people who you feel me can do that. If, you, if your shit's short, if you got a little thing, don't be trying to do the unk dance because your shit ain't going to be slapping against your thighs <laughs> you ain't going to be doing it right. Man, shut your <laughs> ass up, man. Hey. Man, um, 
Nephew. Megan and Tory Lanez, man. Nephew, I thought he was gonna get off. Nigga thought he was gonna get off, for real. Uh, he didn't understand that they had receipts. Your cell phone, it, a text message, is like a guilty plea. It's, it's, listen, this is how I feel about this. It's sad to see a sister being shot. Yeah, let's address that first. And you know, You're right. You're to, right. to see a, 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 a black woman be shot and then face the humiliation and of lies. And everybody's saying and she's and lying. And, 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 and regardless of what happened, she didn't shoot herself. That's for sure. You know what I'm saying? That's for sure. So I think the protection on black women was shown that how our black women are some of the most unprotected species on this earth. You know what I'm saying? You're trying to work your A game. No, I'm no. I'm, this is, this, is, this is transparency. This is I know. We not the fab and unshow. This okay. is some Trans- real, like you know what I'm saying. Okay, and that, uh, and that's real. And that's real. On yeah, a flip, the bottom of the totem pole. On the bottom always. of the totem pole, for fight sure. Fight the hardest, for sure. For fight sure. Fight the hardest, it would be on the bottom of the totem pole. I for agree. sure. On the flip side, you see a brother who has pleaded his innocence, who the insufficient evidence of saying, man, his, his DNA wasn't on the, on the gun, a lot of other things that led to, damn, how did this work? You know what I'm saying? Um, and you see him in jeopardy of losing his career, his lifestyle, being taken away from his children. And that's just a sad situation. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's just a tough situation, man. But one thing that I hate is that how we have a, as a people has made a mockery out of two people's lives that will drastically be changed after this. I think I think we have that we have a problem with doing that bad, and um, and and in many different circumstances and situations that sometimes our opinion only should matter to us. Right. We'll take our opinion. And we'll share with the world like it should be, like it should have some matter to it. Right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, to the point now you got, now you allow, Instagram has allowed somebody to say something and give them everybody else their opinion to be able to say what they feel about it. And the higher your influence you know is, the more, the more it matters to people. Matter. For you sure. You know what I'm saying? So the, the sad part about it is that they have to, they had to take their situation and it had to be publicized all over the world. It wasn't something they could do in private to deal with. And from the day one, from the first incident that ever came out, at that moment, it made it worldwide. Which, if we wasn't living in the era where it was cell phones, Instagram, and all that, it wouldn't have been as publicized right. as it is. You know what I'm saying? Did so, you, um, not even to cut you off. You want to finish? No, go ahead. Um, so, yeah, that's just a... This is a touchy subject when you're dealing with that, man. Yeah, and, then, um, and then, you know, in the positions that we play in, in our community, it's hard to say who was right or who was wrong. Right. The best thing to say, it was a sad situation that sad I wish situation. wouldn't have transpired between two people that had so much going for them in life. Beautiful. You know that was mean? beautifully stated. Yeah. Um, did you listen to the R. Kelly album when it came out? Man, R. Kelly said he didn't put that song out, none of that out, man. Oh, somebody just leaked it. R- that's why I got took down. R. Kelly said, man, I didn't have nothing to do with that. I think what happened was, I think some amazing engineer sat there, listened to all of R. Kelly songs, and took words from each What one. was it called? Yeah, I did it. What was Yeah, I did it. Some shit that I did. What was that R. Kelly album called? I admit it. Some shit. I admit it. Hey, little boy. What was the R. Kelly album called? I admit it. No, I admit it. You said sacrifice? Chopper Chopper. 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 You don't know anything. Oh, it was something. Yeah. But whatever it was, he was saying, I admit to the crimes I did. Oh, right. So what he said was, I didn't put that out. And I think that some amazing engineer leaked, put uh, amazing. Now, listen, I'll never say free R. Kelly. But say? I'm still listening to R. Kelly. I don't think it's no one. No, it's some people saying free R. Kelly. Listen to me, nephew. I don't think it's no one. That's not still listening to R. Kelly music. No, I think it's some people that really didn't like, they don't fuck with Kells no more. But, I'm, I, but I, I will tell you this. If I'm in the club 
and step in the name of love, come on. I'm not finna just be like, oh, I'm just gonna sit this one out. Yeah, that, like you, that you, you know how much that, that is gonna take for you to do. And that you got to have discipline. Club lit, DJ fit, it's fired up. Everybody in there dancing. They didn't did the electric slide. They didn't did the cha cha. Then they just come up to the step. step. You just gonna be like, no, I'm just gonna go and sit this one out. <laughs> I'm stepping in the name of love. Like I say, I'm not gonna go on record and say free R. Kelly. But I ain't changing his music or deleting it off my playlist either because R. Kelly then got me through some great times in that music. It's a whole lot of babies out here. That didn't win half on the baby. Yeah, because of R. Kelly song. Man. So, so, hey, man, listen. Comedy stuff, man. We got a lot of stuff going. I've been doing comedy lately. You see my stand-up? I see you in stand-up, nephew. What you think about it? Give me some honest, some honest feedback. You want me to tell you what my honest feedback is, nephew? Yeah. Okay. I think you are hilarious. Right. I know you're funny, I think sometimes you take a subject and you ride it a little bit longer okay. than it need to be rolled. Like you hit that punch and it'd be funny and it'd feel good to you. So then you would just keep going, keep going and keep going. Right. But that's when practice come in. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because it tells you, it teaches you, boom, or I hit that point. Let, Let me get go. On to next one. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying? Okay. That's the thing that the punchline go. You and it was funny and then you'll add your freestyle to it. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Instead of saying, I, this was the joke I had, but now let me freestyle some extra to it. Okay. It doesn't need no freestyle extra. Once you hit it, bam, shoot to the next one. I like that. I Thank you. All right. I appreciate that. Hey, man, listen. What we gonna be doing, man? We gonna be giving y'all this, man. We definitely gonna be having guests and everybody coming to rock with us. If y'all wanna get on the Unkin Fab show, make sure y'all tap in in the DMs. Y'all hit us up. But this is what we gonna be doing, man. We wanna send a big shout out to the intern, man. You feel me? And Lil Cuz and the whole Dope Era family. And if you rock with us, man, we know it's the air away. And it ain't the other way. Like his uncle say. Yeah, him, man. And uh, we appreciate y'all, man. We appreciate y'all for tuning in. I'm Fab. And of course, I'm Unc. That's Icy. And if you put it, you got to speak to it. And if you put it all together, you got the Unc. And Fab podcast, the Uncle Fab show, the Uncle Fab this, and the Uncle Fab that. You got the Fab and Unc. Fab and Unc. This, this, this Fab and Unc. That's it. We're not going to talk about it. Can it's I say not one about thing? debate. Cut. It's not about debate. You don't even have a rhyme to this. Unc and Fab. We're not debating nothing. Make sure y'all get the new, brand new uh, joints, sires, the Unc and Fabs. That's the Unc and Fabs. Mario. That's Fab. That's Unc. The Fab and Unc's. Brand new. Somewhere in America. Sire Collection. Brand new drops. We running them back. We running them back. Dope Air Week. Fab Week. Check y'all. Happy New Year's. Y'all be safe. Y'all be careful. Y'all be blessed. Uh, and y'all might catch us in Vegas. You might. If they opened up a flight. <laughs> <laughs> we don't got no flight.